Hey guys, I'm Jess McDonald. It is the 28th of November, which is also Thanksgiving. So whether your turkey is the meat kind or the tofu kind, I do hope you enjoy what is my Australian understanding of the true meaning of this holiday. Stop in your face. the glorious and terrifying Black Friday deals are upon us and by us I mean those of you who are in America so let's see what's worth keeping an eye on. There are way too many to mention them all so please visit our handy comprehensive list on site. If you're ready to dump your money into last gen there are Xbox 360 250 gig bundles at Best Buy for 190 bucks and PS3 Slim 250 gig bundles for 200 bucks at most American outlets. There's also my personal wish list item the Nintendo 3DS XL bundle with a link between one for a very attractive 150 bucks. If you feel like starring in one of those scary Black Friday trample videos, Walmart are having a sale on games from 6 till 7 p.m. featuring titles like GTA 5 and The Last of Us. If you'd rather stay home though, there's always the current Steam and Origin sales. I know you probably don't use that last one, but it may be worth checking out for things like a $20 copy of Battlefield 4. Are you gearing up to take in a horde of new gaming bits and pieces? And are there any consoles or games you've got your eye on? Let me know in the comments. Next up, we have a story with the phrase open world Star Wars game in it, but that is after the words EA developing, so you guys seem to have mixed feelings. Kotaku identified several job advertisements for EA Canada, which say they're hiring for what is described as a major new next-gen open world action game. If you're wondering where the Star Wars part came in, a former recruiter for the dev company tweeted a link to a combat designer job and mentioned the position was for a Star Wars project. There's a suggestion that this game could be the same game being developed from Dead Space Studio visceral games, though that hasn't yet been confirmed. Now I'd love, like many of you, to believe that this is KOTOR 3, but there is a good chance it is not. So in that case, what would you like to see out of this title? Leave me your thoughts. Last off the mark today, Sony has decided to disable some PSN features to try and smooth out the PS4 launch across Europe. Given PSN struggled quite a bit from the US launch demand, Sony have decided to be ultra prepared this time around and not pull a Diablo 3. The specific areas Sony are disabling are the what's new and content information screens while everything else should be available. These features will only be down for a few days after launch, so if you're desperate to get back to tracking the activities of your friends, you'll be back on it in no time. Let me know in the comments whether you think that was a good move by Sony in disabling the PSN features. You can also let me know on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. Those are all the things that I have for you today, but I hope you have an excellent day of thanks, food, gaming, or however you like to spend this holiday, and I will see you again tomorrow.